ever seen that movie Star Trek The Voyage Home? Where they needed to pick up an incredible amount of speed and slingshot themselves around the sun? Let's test that theory. Oh my god. The G's are too much. She's breaking apart, Captain. And here we go. This is a Volt Explorers production. Today's adventure is going to Best Buy to buy a refrigerator filter. The only problem is I'm gonna be rolling some serious dice here since technology has forced me to call a call center, not the actual store. And can't get uh, I can't get through it because it keeps saying that they're having technical difficulties and I guess they are just so jam slam packed that they can't have people man the phones to answer a simple question ultimately though this is okay because we get to get out get on the road make a video Today's adventure vehicle is the Honda Ruckus. And when I got this thing, it was, it was and still is for, we're gonna make some, you know, around town adventures, maybe a little fire trail off-road adventures, something simple. But uh, I haven't got to use it yet, that much anyways. And we're gonna use it as a, vehicle. And if I get a little bit more speed, we may get back to the future. This thing is totally stock, bare bones, plain Jane, little ruckus. And even though it doesn't have the high speed of uh, our other bikes, it's still kind of cool to just get out and kind of cruise around, you know, take it, take it easy. I, <laughs> I actually need this ride because after talking to that automated system, I think about blew two or three fuses. So I could use a little bit of a peaceful ride. I'm gonna pull over and let these uh, trucks over. It's a nice classic. So I even asked Caboose if he wanted to go for a, a little scooter ride. And he gave that a uh, Texas size no. He'd rather be, be seen on his DT50. But we're experiencing technical difficulties with DT50 right now. We gotta tighten some things up. So I used to ride a Honda, Honda Express. Yeah, I think a Honda Express 50cc, and it's kind of same same when I was in high school. And it was a, you know, it was what it was. It was a moped scooter. And I didn't really appreciate it back then. But I think these things are the coolest thing now. But just that the way that they're set up, kind of low slung and 
got some sort of off-road tires on it. Like I said, you could probably take the off or the uh, fire trails. Um, I really, I really dig this bike. I really dig this little scooter. Tight suspension over that railroad track, so. Lost about five miles per hour up that tiny hill. I really hate to see what happens when I take a big hill. But we'll see. Oh yeah. Look at that lean. things out if I've got a manual in front of me and especially if I got the help on YouTube. The one thing I really truly dig about this bike that if a person was wanting to get into just general general maintenance of their own ride this would be a good way to go. I think uh, increasing some of the horsepower, they sell little kits for around, I think around a hundred bucks. And a hundred bucks for a couple of extra ponies. That's not bad. Rain on this side of Lacey, but this little thing, man, just the way it sits, pretty, pretty close to the ground. Obviously, I'm not picking up too much speed. I feel like I have too much to worry about riding in the rain. Alright, time to unleash the horsepower. Give it a little, little push off. Get that turbo boost going. And I recently saw this one cat. He was doing some fire trails on a, on a ruckus. But he called it a, a Honda Zoomer, I think. But uh, still. He was actually hitting those trails pretty good, so I guess we're just going to have to roll some dice to see what happens. He was in Russia, I think, or something like that. I couldn't really read his uh, description. That uh, Cyrillic alphabet, whatever. So I think if he can do it, I should be able to do it. Let's see how long we'll be stranded at this light.
We made it. Okay, so that was a big fail. But I did at least learn. Like, uh, like a lot of things with technology and whatever. They just uh, stopped making the filter, so I guess it's cool for a company like just to, uh, like, oh yeah, we don't even make that filter anymore. We discontinue that model. So that's a pretty awesome way to make people go out and buy a new uh, fridge or something. figured that's what was going to happen eventually. You know, nothing lasts forever. two lights that I really had to contend with. And the only, I don't know, slight inconvenience is the weather. But you gotta expect that living in Washington, and it is getting that time, so. We'll be seeing more rain, oh my goodness. That guy gave me a wave. The last biker that passed me looked like look at looked at me like I was uh, a freaking weirdo. That lady was pretty nice. <laughs> I think we'll take a different way home. What do you say, people? That's 38 miles an hour. Maybe. All right, puppy. That's a happy puppy. I think I have to do a review on this little scooter. It's not the fastest out there, but for what it does, it's uh, you know, it gets it gets the job done. Always well, we stop for the people's. So yeah, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be a uh, you know a real fast powerhouse of a thing. It's just a uh, little scoot around. And I kind of figured out what it was. Wasn't expecting great things. I mean, it's still a great one. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I just don't know that. I'm kind of on the fence just talking about it with this thing. I'm kind of on the fence if I should do any kind of improvements. 
um, or just you know leave it as it is. But I got I kind of got to find uh, some trails of what I want to actually use it for. Hey, Mr. Popo. Get these guys some room. Because I don't like being that guy. All right, one more. That's all I'm going to allow. Next guy has to suffer. So right now, at least for this particular one, we got a max speed of 35. Suspension's not too bad, seat's pretty comfy. But I'm really sure that where this thing shines is just in the neighborhood, it's just at the 25 mark. Especially if you're not in a hurry to get somewhere. So is it super fast? No. Is it just zippy enough? Sure. Am I going to lose speed up this hill? Absolutely. Do I regret the purchase? Definitely not. Definitely not. I got a good smoking deal on these things. On both of them, I got two of them. So, we'll put them to good use. Maybe pass them off to uh, a youngin once they're ready to write, start scooting around. Just keep them on the road as long as we can. And I think after this turn, I'm going to cut this video short. As always, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up.